<laughs> I remember you when you were on one. How, do you want to be a want to be a soap star? I remember that, and you ended up on One Life to Live. I think it was. Mm -hmm. He's like, mm -hmm, yeah. I'm just gonna sit back and cross my legs on that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I brought that up because I like I don't know if I'll ever talk to you again. So I had to bring that up. It's just pure that. comedy. That. <laughs> pure comedy. But for all of y'all, um, and Ryan, I'm gonna need you to put that food down. Put that food down. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know, you don't know, Ron. I'm in character right now. Hey. <laughs> you fully are. You was just like, let me get my grub on while she talking to him. <laughs> so you guys, the film was hilarious. And I wanted to know stunt wise, what was your worst day that you had doing stunts? And what was your best day that you had doing stunts? And I'm going to start with Ron first. I, I didn't have a worst day, actually. I mean, my worst day was eating, like just trying to gain the weight because <laughs> because the director wanted me to gain weight. So I gained 68 pounds. So at home when I was eating, I was always pouring extra salt, extra soy sauce, whatever it was. So I became really bloated and and it was just it was really hard to like the feeling was just ugh. so. But then I look in the mirror, and go, I look like crap, but perfect for the role. So it's awesome. What were you eating? What were you eating that helped you gain 68 pounds? Because that's a lot of weight. Uh well, with the guys, I made them come with me. To serve. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Ding Tai Fung, uh, Italian restaurants. Uh, at home, I'd be cooking like eggs, having protein shakes, and but Italian pasta, like hamburgers, like yeah, bad stuff. So Elaine, how did you end up going from studying history at Oxford to being a movie star? Oh my God! First of all, thank you for calling me a movie star. That's amazing. Because you are. Uh, <laughs> um. It's funny, I was a dancer first um, and I fractured both of my hips um, in high school and I couldn't walk for six months and it was very depressing. But uh, I you know, decided to go to college and uh, one of the things I wanted to do while I was doing the study abroad program in Oxford was take this wonderful lady out, this, uh, this beautiful woman that I was crushing on to, uh, to a theater play. And it was with uh, Liam Neeson. And it was an Oscar Wilde play. So we took the train down to London and I uh, saw this play and I was blown away. I was like, what, what is this? What, what, am I, what am I watching here? And that's kind of how it all started for me, just watching. And I started to watch tons of plays while I was out there and ended up taking some workshop at, at RADA and uh, came back within a year. And I was like, this is what I want to do. You know, if it's not dancing, it's, it's, it's this, it's this other way of, uh, you know, emoting and, and, and uh, feeling emotion and expressing feelings and telling stories. I think that's that's something that I really gravitated towards. Who would be the first one to kind of just break up and bust up a scene and y'all would have to do it again? Ron. Ron. <laughs> I noticed he got real quiet and real still when I asked that question. Did I really bust Ron. <laughs> that, was, <laughs> that was hilarious. And what, Ron, was Ron. First, what was the first time for each of you, what was the first time you ever saw Kung Fu and it made you just go, wow, I, at some point in my life, I have to be a part of that. I'll start with my Mikhail first. It was Jackie Chan in the Drunken Master. It was on Black Belt Theater. And he was drinking out these jugs and busting. I was like, what is this? What is this? <laughs> I, I mean, I've seen the drinking on the jugs. I just hadn't seen them use to bust people up. And, and I could not, I mean, we, I could not get enough. And, he, you know, then Bruce Lee just brought beauty to it. Because it was like beauty, uh, physical uh, excellence, uh, style, everything. And I was like, this is like Shaft. With no pistol. Ooh, ooh, I like that. I might have to use that when I write the review. Yeah. There's a movie called Chinese Connection, and mm -hmm. um, it was I remember when that movie. Bruce goes into the Japanese school and says the Chinese are not sick dogs of Asia, sick men of Asia. The mm -hmm. whole audience just stood up, standing ovation. People, I was looking up and people were crying and tearing, and I was just like wow, just the effect that he had on everyone. And it wasn't when he was doing action. It was what he stood for at the time. So for me, yeah. the movie was The Last Dragon, which mm -hmm. shown up from Bruce Leroy. Um, yeah. it, was, it was 
I just enjoyed it. I just enjoyed the culture, the different, you know, the the mix of everything. And more specifically, it was Ernie Reyes Jr. Because I saw myself in him as this little, you know, Filipino kid who who studied martial arts. And I was at the time studying martial arts. So I was like, oh, my God, that guy is me. And I was trying to do all his moves. So that was that was for me the, the movie that really it was a huge entry point for for uh, martial arts and kung fu. Your your trainer says Sifu. Yes, Sifu. thank you. Sifu uh, says to you, uh, kung fu without honor is just fighting, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is it for you guys in your personal life that brings honor for you? I'll start with Mikkel first. For me, honor is found in the pursuit of the truth. Uh, and, and it opens you up to grow because if you believe the stereotypes or the memes or whatever, and you don't ever give yourself an opportunity to be exposed to proper information, you remain ignorant. The light is small. And for me, this film was kind of a, a, a example of it because I'm from the South and like we, I've been told about Asian cultures forever. And then I become part of a production like this and it's just like, it just broke my whole uh, mind wide open and, and my heart. And um, that experience, the willingness, I felt great about myself because I was willing to be taught. I, I wasn't trying to hold on to ignorant concepts because I didn't want to be wrong. I was willing to be taught and in it I found some of the most special relationships I have in my life today. So like, uh, I think it's the willing, it's the, it's the pursuit of truth and, uh, and what's real. And, and don't ever, don't all fall short of that because if you build it on anything that isn't true, it will, fall, it will crumble. I mean, really, what top of mind right now is parent, being a parent, um, being a father, as, be, a, a, as best example I can be for my son. Um, and, you know, it's, it's, it's funny because it's a reflection of you, right? So anything you throw, at, at your, your child, be it positive or negative, it's gonna come back to you in, in you know, tenfold. So Absolutely. <laughs> I, I, I it, it, it's, it's the, the, the way, you know, my older brothers have told me about parenting is, is that if you're going to spend time with them, make sure it's time that's uninterrupted and it means something. Mm. You can't just be there and be present. You gotta be there and be be there and, and taking part of their life, be it five minutes or one minute or the whole day. So I think having purpose with your time and spending that time wisely with the people that you love, I think that's that's in essence what the, the saying is about like, you know, Kung Fu without honor is just fighting. Well, time being spent without having purpose with it is just wasting time, really. So. I think that's 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 what I that's what I uh, try to do in my life, especially when it comes to my son. That's a great question. There's so much I want to say, but I think the first thought that came to me because my mom my mom taught me how to be a man. So for me, it's about selflessness, being selfless, and, and her thing was, you know, helping others without expecting anything back, and I believe in that. You know. Th this is my time, but I want to say this before I go. You, All three of you are such deep, sensitive brothers. I appreciate you so very much for taking time out of your day to talk to me. I know it's been a long one for you, and I really, really appreciate you being thoughtful and um, insightful with your answers to me. I cannot tell you how much that means. Congratulations on the film, and thank you once again. Thank you so very much. Thank you so thank much. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate right. your time. To keep up with The Curvy Critic, like our page here, click that subscribe button, and click that bell for notifications. Love, peace, and hair.